Good morning, Facebook. Hello, Facebook. Hello, Instagram. Hello, YouTube. Um, you're watching this live uh, or streaming live on YouTube right now. Replays on YouTube and sometimes Instagram. Um, good morning, everybody. It is Friday, uh, about seven, uh, about seven fifteen in the morning, and I'm here working, um, getting some stuff done. Um, just got off the phone uh, with uh, one of our clients in New Zealand uh, that we coach, uh, restaurant owners that we coach over in New Zealand. So I was on the phone early with them, uh, which is very late for them. It's uh, midnight there for them and um, early here for them. So we started, started that at 6 o'clock this morning. Um, so I'm here at the bar um, doing my, um, my uh, daily update here on Facebook Live. Hope everybody's having a great day or everybody had a great day yesterday. Uh, hope everybody's going to have a great weekend. A uh, couple of things that's, that are going on here. Um, so good morning, everybody who's tuning in. Um, hi, Susan, Karen, good morning, good morning, and everybody else is tuning on. I can't see everybody. If you're, if you're tuning in live, by the way, just drop a comment, hashtag live, or, uh, yeah, hashtag live, or if, where you're tuning in from. That always helps. I love to see where people tune in from, and uh, that's always cool. So good morning as more people are joining on. Happy Friday. Uh, it is the start of the weekend, so good morning. So I just wanted to um, talk about uh, the one thing the title is on this on this um, video is we'd rather throw out. So sometimes people come in and um, we're out of certain dishes, like our tuna dish uh, we're out of, or our calamari dish that we're out of. So our philosophy in the kitchen is that we'd rather throw something, we'd rather run out of something rather than throw something out. Um, especially now that winter's coming, we're working on obviously businesses less. We don't have our outdoor dining. Our outdoor dining did very, very, very well for us um, this uh, summer. We're gonna have a new tent in the back uh, that's gonna withstand the snow and have three sides on it and we're gonna be able to have heat under there. Uh, that'll be up soon. Uh, which we're very excited about that. So we might be able to extend some some warmer winter days to outside. But, you know, especially with the winter coming, um, and our philosophy has always been, I've always told my kitchen staff when they're prepping stuff, that I would rather run out of something rather than throw out, especially when it comes to, like, seafood, especially when it comes to our tuna dish. Our tuna is really an awesome dish. Um, line caught albacore tuna from the Pacific Northwest. Uh, sesame crusted, seared off to left raw to uh, to leave raw in the center uh, with our two sauces. Really an awesome dish, and that'll stay fresh for for a couple of days. But I, you know, going into a weekend like this, we're only going into this weekend with six, seven tuna loins that are seared off. And um, you know, if we run out tonight or tomorrow, we'll make more. But on Saturday night, we don't have time to make more if we do run out. So. Um, just if we do run out of things, that's why. We, we, we don't like to throw things out. We like to run things out. Um, and it's so hard in the restaurant industry to actually forecast what we're going to sell. So that's always an issue. Um, so, uh, so that's the reason of that. I wanted to show you some really cool vegetables we have in stock right now. Um, so our grocery list is online at uh, romantimebistro.com. And you go to and you hit the grocery list. Right now we have local purple cauliflower in. This stuff just came in. We got a, a dozen or so heads. This is purple cauliflower, local from Sam Scott Orchards up in the north of Rhinebeck. Um, these are really big heads. These are $6 on our retail list. So if you want any cauliflower, these are um, Sam Scott Orchards. I don't know if they're organic or IPM, integrated pest management, um, but it is local. These are local. These are beautiful, beautiful heads of cauliflower, purple cauliflower. And for the Romanesco fans out there, um, I know Karen, you're a Romanesco fan. Romanesco cauliflower. These are super fresh. You just came in, both of these just came in from the farm hub. They're both from Sam Scott Orchards, the same place we get our apple cider from. Uh, so this is this is a type of cauliflower um, we're called Romanesco, um, an Italian version of cauliflower. They're little pointed um, pointed peaks on here, and um, I'll just actually peel off some of these side things here so you can actually see it better. The leaves. There we go. So yeah, so that's what that's what Romanesco looks like, folks. That is Romanesco, um, and these are for sale. These are all six dollars each. Um, the cauliflower and the Romanesco from a local farm. These are also on our menu as a side dish. Um, so good morning, Albie. Good morning, Cheryl. Um, 
Hi, Kate. Good morning. Brian, Sabrina. Good morning, everybody. Hannah, good morning. Good morning. So, yeah. So, these are on our grocery list. Uh, the uh, the uh, uh, Romanesco cauliflower, local from Sam Scott Orchards. Now is the season. The fall is the season. These should go, these should hopefully last up right until Thanksgiving. Um, and then this beautiful purple cauliflower. Purple cauliflowers. Uh, they have orange cauliflower too. They were out of it this week. And white cauliflower. So it just mixes the plate up, gives some more color. Uh, so these are all on our grocery list for $6. Uh, some new wines are coming in today. Um, got a couple new cheeses that we're going to put on our grocery list um, from McGrath. That's going to be really cool. Um, we are open for Thanksgiving takeout. We're not open for dining. We're open for takeout from 11 to 2. Uh, we are selling a lot right now. There's been a lot of phone calls, so make sure you call early if you want Thanksgiving takeout. It's $27 per person per meal. Uh, traditional turkey, uh, hormone-free, antibiotic-free, of course. Um, organic creamed corn. Um, uh, mashed potatoes, uh, organic sweet potato puree, organic butternut squash, uh, organic stuffing, um, the whole deal, um, the whole deal, $27 per person, uh, of course, in the turkey. And we also have a vegan option. We have tofurkey, same exact setups. If you want a gluten-free turkey meal, we can do that. We will be making a gluten-free turkey stuffing, uh, or, or gluten-free stuffing. If you are vegan, all of our sides are vegan. There's no dairy in any of our sides. Um, so the stuffing is fine. The, the creamed corn is made with coconut milk, organic coconut milk, organic corn. Uh, the creamed corn is really good. Uh, we have local cranberries. We're able to get some local cranberries in to make some cranberry sauce. When I mean local, I mean Cape Cod, uh, Massachusetts Cape Cod. That's as local as we can get cranberries. I know there's some wild cranberries here on the mountain in the Schwangunk Ridge, um, but um, we weren't. No, we were not up there picking. So unfortunately, no, no super local, but local or regional uh, from Cape Cod, uh, the same place we get them from every year. That's exciting. Um, good morning, everybody watching. I uh, hope everybody has a great weekend this weekend. I don't really know the weather. I know it's not going to be as beautiful as last weekend, but we are open for outdoor dining um, if the weather's permitting, of course. And um, indoor dining, call ahead. Tonight we're already very, very busy. Um, good morning, Aileen, uh, and everybody else who's tuning in. Um, so we're going to be very, very busy this evening. Uh, we do have a couple of time slots open for later. The governor, as of tonight, wants all restaurants to be shut down by 10 p.m. So um, that is a factor because uh, there's a lot of times we're here after 10 p.m. Uh, there's people here eating and yeah, we're, we're busy. Um, so that is definitely going to be a factor for us, um, especially on the weekends. Um, let's see. So um, that is definitely going to be a factor. So... Uh, we're sad about that, uh, that we can't be here. You know, we're not a bar that's packed with a bunch of people that are, you know, sitting around a bar. We're a restaurant where people are actually sitting down eating and enjoying a nice glass of wine and, um, and or cocktail and having, you know, a good meal. And unfortunately we, or fortunately we are here after 10 o'clock doing that. But as of now, as of tonight, we're not allowed to do that anymore. Governor Cuomo has been, uh, will be cracking down, I guess, again. And um, a lot of restaurants are getting very nervous that they're going to um, shut us down again uh, based upon the numbers. So, um, sorry, folks, if you want to come in after 10, we cannot legally, legally accommodate you. Um, so uh, tonight is going to be a busy night. We have a, um, in the dining room, so call ahead. Always call ahead if you're if you're coming. It's always a good idea. Six four seven three thousand. Uh, Sunday we'll be doing our curry mussels and shrimp for nine ninety nine or nine ninety nine to go special. We're going to keep offering our nine ninety nines. We might, might mix them up a little bit, but our nine ninety nine nine ninety nines or our buy one get one uh, like wing night on Monday night. We'll be offering those on a regular basis. Uh, like I said, new cheeses in the grocery grocery list will be going on today and. Um, that's about it. Jamie should be doing her happy hour live later at four o'clock. And uh, that's about it. So the beginning of this, if you're just tuning in, the title of this is um, we'd rather run out. We would rather, so because we're getting slower, and even when we're not slow, I would rather run out of tuna. I would rather run out of calamari. I would rather run out of certain dishes than make too much and throw them out, um, especially when it comes to seafood dishes. Uh, like our calamari and like our tuna. So we just try to run on tight inventory. So if you come in and we happen to be out of tuna, 
that's the reason why because we try to keep it super fresh as possible and prepped fresh um, so um, there's a lot of work that goes into opening the kitchen every day a lot of work behind the scenes that happens hours and hours before um, like literally we have one person that is almost full-time that does nothing but prep just sit and and prep things so we can open uh, the doors at four or five o'clock or three o'clock whenever we open just to be able to get everything done so then the line cooks can actually start assembling the food and making it um, making it um, go out um, so um, that's about it folks Jamie did I miss anything wine oh wine dinner on Monday we We're, only have one table available we only have one table two people four people uh, two or four people okay so we have one one table available for Monday's wine dinner one table, that's it, um, because we're inside and we have limited seating. So all the other tables are... They're are, all spaced out. They're all spaced out. All, everything's accounted for. So if you want to come in on Monday, we have one table left. Up to four people can sit at this table for our wine dinner. It's four wines and a dish for $25 a person. It is a bargain. One, wine, oh, one, one dish and four wines, $25. We are previewing Thanksgiving wines. So you will have an opportunity to buy... Um, to buy wine for Thanksgiving, to take home for Thanksgiving. Uh, we're going to be doing a bunch of cool wines, foreign wines. Sometimes we add a fifth wine in as a bonus, so you never know. Um, so that might happen as well. Uh, and that is happening uh, this Monday at 6 or 6.30? 6.30? 6.30. thirty this Monday. Uh, there's really one table left, 647-4000. Call us right away. If you call right now, Jamie will answer the phone. She's right here. She, um, so, um, check out the... Um, check out my Facebook Facebook, Jamie's Facebook Live. Do you know what you're making later? Uh, it's definitely be something with Fig. I'm pretty sure I have a new drink uh, that Michael from Black Infusion sent me. Okay. So as long as the Fig Vodka comes in today, it will be something Fig. I didn't see Michael on this morning. Michael's usually on our lives. Michael, Michael Davidson, the owner of Black Infusion's Vodka, which is a, um, a vodka uh, company that makes um, infused... Fig vodka and infused apricot vodka. And yeah, most of you, you are coming out with a new product soon too. Yeah, he gave us a prototype. It was really good. Um, so if you've been here, you've probably seen his products here. Uh, we make a lot of cocktails uh, with his uh, with his two vodkas, and they're actually on the shelf back there for retail. We're actually out right now. We only have one bottle behind the bar. Uh, more of it comes in today. Um, people really, really love this 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 uh, fig and apricot vodka, especially the fig vodka is the best seller here. Um, if yep. There was something really interesting that I wanted to, wanted to mention as well on Facebook Live. Um, so, oh, yeah, the, yeah, the 1857 Vodkas, um, which is a local vodka of a company from Scolari, uh County up near Albany. So, 1857. This is really, really cool. I had no idea that this was like this. So, this is a potato vodka. All right, Potatoes are a storage crop. It's something that you pick... Uh, in June, and it's something you pick in the fall time. So you pick it, and then you store it uh, until the next season's of, uh, available, right? So if you were to distill potatoes, the potatoes that were picked in December from November, you would have vodka A. If you take potatoes that are distilled in March, and they were the same potatoes that were picked in November, you'd have vodka B. So based upon the age of the potato, the vodka comes out differently, sometimes really differently. And I was really shocked. In 1857, has a series of these spring and fall um, uh, vodkas. You see the green on there? That, that signifies um, the difference in the potato. So different ages on the potatoes make a different vodka. And I had I, this was something new to me, and I found this out this summer. And um, I think this is their spring vodka. Um, which was which was really cool. I really I really like this one. Um, oh, Michael is on. Hi, Michael. Good morning. So he's saying same thing with figs and apricots. So um, um, so yeah. So um, these vodkas are different. Same farm, same potatoes, same distillery, same everything except for the age of the potatoes makes the vodka flavor. A different makes the profile different really really cool these are both open by the way because we have them behind the bar we serve them here so if you wanted to come in 
and taste the difference in these, it's really interesting. And you might say, oh, I like the spring, I like fall or whatever. Um, both of these are really cool, so yeah. So uh, Michael's saying same with thing with figs and apricot. And it makes sense because obviously if you're aging something, um, maybe the sugar content's different, things like that in a potato. Um, so um, that totally makes sense, but I just didn't realize it was that much of a difference. So then it makes me wonder like, okay, if you're a potato vodka um, company and you're making potato vodka that tastes the same, are you only distilling potatoes one time a year? Like, are you taking like the new crop or whatever you're taking it and just all of a sudden say, we're only distilling potatoes once a year and we're making enough vodka in November to last 12 months. So that was just a question that I had based upon my experience with 1857. So just food for thought on that. Um, So just was wondering about that. And I would imagine that to be consistent, the consistent flavor of the vodka that they would have to do something similar to like that um, to do that. Or or maybe they're making vodka, an early harvest vodka, late harvest potatoes, and maybe they're, then they're blending them together, sort of like how non-vintage champagne is. They make they take several vintages and they keep blending them together, so they make the same profile year after year. So maybe they're taking different batches of what they're distilling and blending them so it's the same profile. I don't know, I'm not a distiller. Uh, I'm not in the potato vodka, um, so, um, so. Michael's saying early harvest is different and that's why we take the winemaking philosophy Excellent. So Michael's on. Michael is the owner of... Jay, you want to grab the the vodka for me there? Michael's the owner of Black Infusions. Um, It's the Black Fig Vodka, and they make a golden apricot vodka. Really, really cool stuff. Um, These uh, The Fig Vodka is a bestseller here. And Michael's been down here. He's done an event with us before. You can follow his page, um, the Black Infusions page, and he's always posting really, really cool... You can see we're almost out of these. You can see he posts some really, really cool cocktails on a daily basis. So um, check that out. These are here available for retail sale. Jane, what are these retail for? They're, um, I think it's... 35. 35. $35. $35. Real, see the color of that? That is from real figs going in there. Not a flavoring extract, not a flavoring compound, not an artificial flavoring. That is from real figs getting infused into vodka. The apricot, real apricots getting infused here. This is not a, this is not one of those sweet vodkas that you go to the store and you buy and it's flavored and sugared um, and it's clear and it's some, 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 some of these flavors are ridiculous, cotton candy flavors and stuff. Those are all chemicals and even, and even and chemicals and sugar and even the, even the citrus ones and the fruit ones, those are all a chemical and, um, or an extract and, a lot of sugar in there. You taste these, um, these are the real deal. And this is, if you took high quality vodka at your house and decided to throw in, you know, cherries and let it infuse for 30 days or, or figs and let them infuse for 30 days and strain it, that's what you'd have at your house. That's what you're buying in this bottle, the real deal. So um, thank you, Michael, for, um, for making such great, great products. So, um, all right, um, so if you're tuning in live, folks, just drop a comment, hashtag live. If it was on the replay, hashtag replay, or where you're tuning in from, we, we always appreciate that. And um, hope everybody's planning to have a great Thanksgiving. Um, I'm sure everybody's seen Governor Cuomo's restrictions, no more than 10 people uh, in your home gathering. Um, we are open for Thanksgiving for takeout. Uh, $27 a person, uh, order ahead of time. You have to order ahead of time because we will uh, definitely sell out. We have a lot of orders already and uh, six, four, seven, three thousand for that. And before I leave, I'm just gonna show you one more time the local Romanesco that we have in stock. Local Romanesco, which is a, a cauliflower, type of cauliflower, an Italian version of cauliflower. Uh, this came in from Sam Scott Orchards, which is local. These are on our grocery list. They're on our, they're on our regular, um, menu as well as a side vegetable and the purple cauliflower these are huge heads so purple cauliflower the or we were out of the orange cauliflower this week um and we don't we i wanted to get purple because i like the purple and orange and i skipped the white but they did have white as well so those are all local um so all right folks thanks for tuning in appreciate it we have a great day four o'clock ish jamie will be on for facebook live everybody have an amazing day